All right, it's out, you all. I have my vocal preset. I just uploaded it to my website, justinorm.com, but I'm going to show you exactly how to go about, I won't say the word installing it, but being able to find and select where it is and seeing how to apply it in Traction Waveform. Now, this will work for Traction Waveform stock plugins only. Later on, I might try to do some other things and include a version for the pro version. This is actually for Traction Waveform free. So, all right, I have this, I call it antique track, but it's not really antique, but it's a track that I already created once before for another video. So I want to be able to apply this directly to this track right here, all right? Normally, if you have it already pulled up, then you should be able to find it easily. But if not, because you just probably, you know, went to the website, you probably downloaded it, or I sent you an email with the link, and this is what you're gonna do. In settings, at the top, you'll see a part that says file locations. And if you click on that, you'll see this general tab, all right? Now, if you click right here, it says show settings folder, click on that. And then this will pop up. Okay, it says waveform. All right. And we're going to click on it. And here it's going to show all of these different settings. And what we're looking for is called the presets. All right. Now, when you download the vocal preset sorry my words are not coming out correctly when you download the vocal preset let's say it's going to be in your downloads now right now i have mine in my music so i can pull that folder up let's see presets all right so i can have that here minimize and then let's go to my music here and I have it right under here called Just a Vox. All right, I'm gonna click on it, and then this is what it should look like. It should say front and center. Now, I just created another vocal preset called Call Me Back, right? And it's kind of like the telephone distorted kind of effect. So you will more than welcome to try that too as well, but that one is not free. Okay, all right, I, I have it, I have it. It's right now, it's 50% off on my website, so you can check it out. But so the front and center, when we click on it, what I would suggest doing is clicking on it. Like let's say this is your download folder. I would copy it, all right? And then I would go back to that presets, which is right here, right? Where I said, you know, you go to waveform, you know, presets, and then I would copy it right here. So I would right click and paste it. All right. And once you paste it, it should be easy, accessible within Traction Waveform. But I already have it here. Right. It's called front and center is right there already. And then when I go back into Traction Waveform, I can go right to the plus sign. And I'm going to click on this for this track. I'm going to go to plug in racks. And I'm going to go to new from preset. And I'm going to go all the way down to I find front and center I passed it up all right F where are we at front and center here it is okay and then we can do a before and after this is disabled I told her that I didn't want to enable but she said she gotta stay I told her that disable She's always in my way. Yeah. Okay, play it again. I told her that I didn't wanna. But she said you gotta stay. Okay. And now all of it is doing <clears throat> now all it's doing is just really subtle, all right? It's giving a little distortion. It's giving what well, which is saturation. It's doing some little EQ. Any of this stuff is adjustable. So if you need to adjust it then you can do so all right um i have a little dip right here and you might want more highs you might have some other frequencies so you can readjust this to fit your voice but this is just like a general layout like so and what i'm trying to do is just get more clarity get it to be 
you know, heard a little bit more, be pushed, compressed. It's not overly compressed, but it's compressed enough where it kind of pushes it forward. So it's front and center, basically. And that way it can cut through the mix a little bit better. All right. Now, mind you, I haven't mixed any of these instruments, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. This is front and center. Now, if you have any questions about how to use it or how to adjust things, please let me know. Um, like I said, it is a little tedious making the plug-in presets for Traction Waveform, but I am glad that I was able to get it done. So if you're new to the channel, this is just a norm. Please subscribe to Waveform Explored. It definitely will help this channel grow and reach more people and definitely give it a like. All right. And feel free to share it with someone. If you want the download, I was giving it to the first 10 people. Now, on the website, it costs money. So if you want the download, please put in the comments. I want the free preset. All right. And then after that, I'll... Um, Take note of your name and you probably or if you want to just go ahead and send me an email, you know, send me an email to um, I just create a new email. Right. Waveform explored at Gmail dot com. OK. And you can submit a request to get the free preset or you can email me at just a norm LLC at Gmail dot com. Either one of those.